G'day guys, got to hear again. Gonna have a bit more fun today. Uh, see my last video, I'll put a link up here for it. I showed you how to do a Spanish windlass and how much load you could pull with a Spanish windlass. Today we're going to do a flip-flop winch. Now if you haven't seen or heard of a flip-flop winch, I'll put a link for that up here. If you look at that video, you might see old mate in that video pulls a jeep over that's been rolled. I reckon he could pull enough power, pull enough load to pull that jeep over. What do you think? Let me know down here if you agree with me or you think he could do it. Anyway, I'll give you a quick rundown on the flip-flop winch here and then we'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so basically all you need is some straps. And the idea of the flip-flop winch, like this bench when this, it's a winch you can set up out in the scrub or wherever, just with what you're laying around. So all you need here is a couple of sticks. And you see I've got one branch here, same branch I used on the Spanish windlass, same piece of wood I use on the Spanish windlass. Um, so hopefully we get the same amount of leverage. You know, it's sort of like these, these winches come down to how long a piece of timber you've got, so the size of the wood you've got. So it's all about size, size matters. The bigger the better. Um, so, or to a certain extent anyway, so um, using the straps that you've probably got laying around in the back of your car or wherever, ratchet straps, ratchet straps are weighted, you know, 50 mil wide, they're rated at two and a half tonne, but the braking strain on the actual strap is about six tonne. Um, so I've just got that anchored to a tree over here. Now at the other end you've probably got a either a bogged vehicle or I don't know something you're trying to move along your trailer that you've that you've disconnected while you've got yourself out of the boggy sand or mud and then you've got to pull your trailer through if you don't have a winch I don't know whatever you whatever you can come up with we're using it but this time we're just attached to a tree over here and we've got a load cell attached to the load cell it's got screen and this page is going to tell us how much load I'm pulling from that We'll decide whether you could flip a jeep over or not and compare it to the Spanish windlass. So I've just uh, tied this on, these straps on with a, a uh, slip bow line, slip bow line, air yeah, slip bow line. This makes it easy to undo no matter how much load you put on it. And um, I'll set you down over here and that way you can see the screen and see what I'm doing. And uh, you can let me know, well, you can see the screen, so you'll be able to tell how much load off I'm pulling. So starting, let's get this baby turned on. Fire this thing up. This zero, it makes sure we're good to go. Now this load cell, uh, it's rated for 50 tons, so it's a bit big for this sort of thing, but still, accurate to 10 kilogram increments so it's close enough it's pretty accurate so it'll get a sorted as well anyway it's a bit warm today so I don't know I'll be able to pull as much tension but I'll give it a good crack All right, so what you got to do is you wrap your strap underneath this is going to be my winch drum wrapped it under and under again and make a little bit here. Put this out the wrong side. Now this is going to be where you hook this under. So now this is going to be my lever. So you could call this your, your flopper and this is your flipper since it's a flip flop winch. I don't know what it is, whichever way you want to go. And that's basically it there, set up. It's nice and simple, you know, diggity holes or anything like that. And all you got to do. You flip this over or flop it, whichever way you want to talk about it. And then now you see as I rotate this around, it winds up the strap on my flipper or flopper, whichever one that is, the winch drum. Uh, so then I come over here and I'll flop this over again. Drop. 
And then I take this bit and I flip this around this way. And straight away you can see we're starting to get a bit of tension on there. Now this wants to flip up. Yeah. yeah. What do I do with that? Where did that go? Hang on a second. Now I made this up earlier for this purpose. Just want to link this one to here. It's a little bit tight for there. So a little bit. Here we go on. So you have that on there like that. And then when you get this down here, you can just wrap that around there. And boom, put that on there. And that way your, your flipper's not going to flip on you. Alright, so now I need to flop this over again. Sorted. Now the other thing that starts happening too is your flopper wants to pull to the side. You'll see as we get a bit more tension on that. We'll see how we go. There we go for tension. Getting pretty solid now. What are we up to? What we got there? 0.36, so 360 kgs. I was pulling that pretty hard. So now we need to get our flopper and flop it back over this side. Alrighty. Now it's time to flip again. I don't think I'll be able to get this over. So I'm going to use this strap because this is where it comes in. This is where uh, I think uh, there we go. Right there. Now to stop your flopper from spinning on you, I'll show you what you need to do. Uh, now I'll just set you up a little bit further back so you can sort of see what's going on a bit better. Righto. Now, at this point in time, um, other people that have demonstrated this um, flip flop winch, they show you need a couple of stakes in the ground to hold this thing from swinging around. But uh, well, I think it works better you get away with using a piece of rope. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do a um, deficit hitch onto here. That's not going to go anywhere. Tighten that maybe up. I don't know, and then I bring it down over this way. Yeah, because I've got this pretty short here, this could get it in my way a little bit. I'm just going to do. Uh, let's just do a little bowline on here. Now we've got a bit of slack on it. Slip the bowline, what do you reckon? Through, back, done. Righto. Get that the other way. Righto. So now that won't swing around on me. So let's have another go. So I've got to flip my flipper over. So this is rotating. Sideways there, it's got the most strength. Right, bring that down to here. So I'm going to lay it onto there. So that's not going anywhere. Now I'll come over here again. Flop my winch over. Alright. 
There we go, for tension. Yeah. There's a lot of... It's going to take a lot of force. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there you go. That's the end of that piece of timber. So, without breaking that piece of timber, as you would have seen, I managed to pull how much on the Spanish windows? Let's see what we did here. So, we'll just push max here. 660 kg was the max I pulled, and that timber snapped. So, is that a win for the flip flop, or is that a win for the Spanish windows? What do you reckon? And let's have a look at the carnage. Now with that, after watching that other video, I'll make flip his Jeep over. Do you think 660 kgs would have been able to flip a Jeep? You tell me. Right, oh, no, well I catch my breath. What do you think of that? Did you get something out of that? Flip flop winch? Nah, I'm not so sure. What do you think? Tell me which is one you like better, Spanish windlass or flip flop winch? Let me know. If you laughed or you got something out of that, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.